Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's video, it is a match preview. It's Luton Town versus West Brom. But before I talk about the West Brom game, guys, we will talk about the last game which Luton played, which was against Birmingham away from home, where we lost 3-0. Not the best of performances. And, you know, we don't really have the best results against Birmingham over the years. You know, it's not really a ground which we do too well at. But um, we need to bounce back, is what I'm trying to say, you know. Um, don't know, for some weird reason, since we've returned back to the championship, Birmingham is just a side which we really struggle against, you know. On paper, I feel like we are evenly matched with them, but they get results like this. And we look back at it and go, how on earth did they beat us 3-0? How on earth have they beaten us 5-0? And, you know, unfortunately, it was just a bad day at the office now obviously there was a very contra like controversial like moment during the first half where Adi Bayo was attacking down on the left hand side and the steward went on the pitch to pick up a ball obviously no common sense was actually used during that point in time and yeah it's just would we have scored from that moment who knows we were on top at that moment obviously the protesting doesn't help but it's not the reason why we lost the game. We lost the game due to poor mistakes and just an overall poor performance on the day. Now, we go into this game against West Brom, obviously needing to bounce back. I feel like we are playing West Brom at a really difficult time because, obviously, Steve Bruce is now the manager there. So he's looking for a reaction out of them. You know, they are slowly coming out of the playoff places, West Brom, so they need to get pick up points soon. They've got the squad, they've got, like, literally everything's in their power for them to do that. So it's just for us to make sure that, well, just let's not make it back-to-back -back losses, really. Would I take a point at home to West Brom? Yes. Their squad is just quality. Like, they've got pretty much a very good squad. So how, like, for a club like us to compete with West Brom, it's, it's some doing, you know, and West Brom should be confirming a playoff place, in my opinion. They should be doing better than they have done this season. Obviously, it hasn't worked out with the former Barnsley boss. Um, he can't get him scoring goals. Um, but can Steve Bruce do that? I'm, I'm not too sure, you know. He hasn't had a few good jobs the last few um, places he's been at Steve Bruce. But, you know, he's still very experienced in the championship. He knows how to get teams out of the championship. So, it's... It's going to be a tough one. It's going to it's going to be a big ask, but I feel like, you know, if we play to our strengths, I felt like the last time we played West Brom, if we didn't give them the respect, we would have won the game. I honestly believe that. I felt we gave them too much respect. We allowed them to just, you know, dictate the play and they just they scored from those opportunities which they gained during the first time we played them. And then when we actually attacked them, when we were 3-0 down, we looked miles the better side. So that's what we really need to do. Don't give them respect. You know, we've, if we can put in a performance like we did at home to Bournemouth, which we know we are capable of doing, then we can definitely get the three points at home to West Brom. It just depends what type of Luton team turn up. Is it the Luton team that's going to give teams too much respect or is it going to be a, a Luton team that's going to, you know, be ruthless and go at West Brom from minute one, you know? Because that's the Luton which we need to see on the weekend. Obviously, the weather is going to be impacted. I'm recording the video now during this storm. Um, you know, it's extremely windy. It's raining as well. So I'm pretty sure this storm is going to carry on over to Saturday as well. So it's going to be like high winds. So... Ideally, the ball in the air is probably not going to be the best thing to do because you don't know where the ball is going to actually go. But, you know, play the ball on the floor, play it far, a fast pace side and, yeah, just really attack West Brom um, on the floor, though, not up in the air. But overall, like I said, um, I feel like getting something at home against West Brom would be a good result for us. Um, we are around the playoff places we're not too far away results did go our way midweek but for me if we don't win our games there's no point even worrying about other teams you know we need to focus about us winning football matches and if we can beat West Brom this weekend then we are sending a real message we are literally sending a message that we actually could you know potentially climb into those playoff places 
QPR, I don't know how, but I've done extremely well to obviously stay in the playoff places. I, f I think on paper we're evenly matched with QPR, but they're another side that we are, you know, one of our bogey sides in the division. But I think get past West Brom, then we've got some good games coming up where I do think we can get not easy three points, but I think like on paper we should be winning in my opinion. But we have to beat the good sides in the division. And, you know, if we do want to actually go up to the Premier League, to the promised land, you know, do the unthinkable, which not many people thought we would do at the start of the season, then, yeah, we have to beat teams like West Brom. So, and we're going to get a lot harder teams than West Brom if we go up. So, you know, it's a real test. We like tests at Luton, but we need to be careful. They've got the good they've got good players there. Woodrow, Carroll, you know, Grant up top, Robinson up top. You know, these are fantastic attackers up there. You know, Johnston in goal, like Moat in in midfield, Livermore in midfield. Like they've got overall they've got a good balance in their side. They've got a good spine. The fact that they're not doing that well this season, it's just baffling to me. How they're not above Blackburn, it's just I don't get it. I really do. Football at times is crazy and it's just weird. But yeah, I just don't understand how they're not, we're not they're not above Blackburn. But anyway, talking about the starting eleven that I think we'll play against West Brom. Now, I feel like Cornick and Ali Bayo up top would be nice. I feel like we're gonna. Well, we know what we're like when we don't have Ali Bayo in the side. We're not the best team, but I do think we need to pick a side that's going to be full of pace. I feel like we do need to keep the ball on the floor. Um, I don't think it's it's worth being dominant in the air, especially with the conditions. We are going to expect windy conditions. So why not let's play the ball on the floor? I'm unsure whether or not Bradley will be back for this game. Um, Nathan Jones said he isn't injured anymore. So hopefully we see him. I do think we're miles a better side with him in the defence. Obviously, Naismith doing as well as he has done, you know, despite Bradley's absence. It's amazing, but I think like... You know, Bradley and A. Smith at the back, you know, makes us even stronger in the defence. Lockyer Burke, obviously, strengthening our defence as well. Bree, he needs to be on it. You know, crossing, obviously, with the conditions, it's going to be difficult. But hopefully, he can manage it. Maybe some low hard crosses into the box. Um, midfield, we need to keep the ball. Especially against a side like West Brom, definitely need to keep the ball. You know, so Lance Bree in the midfield would be nice. Campbell as well. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. I am going to go with a 1-1 um, draw against West Brom. Um, I feel like getting something would be a good result. So, yeah, onwards and upwards, I say. So, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like. Comment below your thoughts heading into this West Brom game. Um, let me know your score predictions and also your starting 11s that you would play against West Brom. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.